You can only be cheated if you are not following the trends. But if you are following the trends that you might the world study, it is uh, not easy for them to cheat you. And again, it is also uh, it is easy for you to understand them without uh, having unnecessary like and unnecessary fights and all that. Yeah, from the bed, yeah, you are my friends of that and that. What you do with your yes, that is what is actually is happening. So uh, study the market conditions and the trends and constantly follow whatever is happening there. Um, it is essential to maintain an up-to-date supply database containing details of contracts carried out by the supplier and the details of their technical performance. Uh, it is important to have a database of uh, the potential suppliers around you. That is, database is kind of a uh, uh, Let me just call it a page. A page that will contain the information regarding uh, the suppliers, potential suppliers, who are they, where are they based, what do they do, their track record, where have they uh, performed different classes and uh, their delivery and technical performance, and so on and so on. So that at this, uh, whenever you need them, you just go to the database and check the supplier who is meeting your requirements at that particular point in time. This time around, we need this kind of supplier, and we need him or her to deliver the product. You just go to the database and check. At this stage, you can always find two or three of them that are meeting those ones. You contact them, you compare their what uh, quotations are wrong, then you will feel like you can speak this one. If it is a data process, you invite them. Uh, at the end of the day, after all the, the processes, you will be able to choose one or two to do this things for you. So, an up to date. So when you say update supply database, that is, you update it now and then. It's not like, uh, in any of our 2019, you must apply a quality that you don't see how I'm stated by it, then we are safe. No. But at least you should keep updating the uh, information that is there in the database. It will help you. Because uh, whatever is there then, it will be related to information. Think related to what is happening right now. So, um, apart from you are only database of suppliers, and of course, as the general knowledge of the market based on available and procurement units, of course, there are also many other sources of information on potential suppliers. So, database, you can come here and with you. But for people who don't have database, there are still some other uh, ways through which you can get information. So, uh, the sources of getting supplier information. What are the sources of getting supply information? Or oh, getting information from suppliers? What are those sources? Hmm. Ah. Maybe it can be from a similar company. What else? Through newspapers. I don't know. I don't know. What else? Is 
the background. You can also get information from him. Others may hide the information. Others will still give you the information. Oh, what like this? I think you give him a very little information. What is this? Ah, wait a minute. Let me give you this business card. So, there are multiple sources of getting information. Right? You get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that information will help you to make it more. Successful. So, they are saying, if purchasing is to be effective, it is not enough uh, simply to identify potential sources of supply. New and existing suppliers require continuous appraisal uh, to ensure that contracts are only awarded to suppliers who passes the capability to satisfactorily perform the contract. Um, New and existing suppliers require continuous appraisal uh, to ensure that the contracts are only awarded to suppliers who pass the capability to satisfactorily perform the contract. What is an appraisal?
some contractors. We have to procure the contractor. If I procure the contractor, it will be good company, but you procure the services. So that you can get This one it requires competence from your part. Could you figure one out? That the whole day, Funiga, could he by the end of six months, whole is helping you one who grow and you are not being a son of it. Could it be taken from you? The other thing on the whole is a new issue of development, two and a half program is unsuccessful. Within and yet, take up within internal and other than the plan. We said by six months, all the credit is only one hundred and a half and a half in a minimum six months. That is six months, all the credit is a minimum and a half of a woman who was in the city. Command, it is a mafia, a new and a new phone. Can I make a specification that I don't know? It means that you know, as a BE, you have been successful. Come for you to be successful, you need to be uh, competent. Being confident is being able to know what you are doing or what you are supposed to do. That is, you are being confident. That's why uh, a driver is driving like a highway motor. You will still be able to maneuver and get find your way out. That is your confidence. Hey, however, like when I come to Musa, I find out I drive on the road. That's confidence. Where you cannot confidence. That's the opposite. So in this case, uh, that is, uh, if you are successful in procuring whatever you are supposed to do, then you are uh, competent. Now, um, your competence starts from defining uh, the requirements, as you said. Define the requirements. So you define the requirements at least by involving, say, you involve the user and everything. So on that one.
delivery and quality factors. These ones are some of the factors that we determine uh, whether one will be awarded the contract or not to buy. So price, but price is not the only determining factor. Uh, this one you get it clear. Price alone is not the determining factor. Uh, responsibilities and if 
but you are right. Because if you know the table of conditions, you clearly know that here are my rights and here are my responsibilities. For what I did is when I was in the market. It is when I was in the market. Why? Because it was very clear. Now, for this to happen, it requires a careful, detailed analysis of the number of successive uh, activities and so on and so forth. Uh, the 
así tanto o extremo extra jis anaga area o competencia that of a extent of competition so extent of competition is something to do with uh, the market of the and all as one step of budget yes yes so extent of competition Yeah, so this one 
this uh, evaluation is uh, an administrative and technical activity. It's an administrative and technical activity, uh, which will be carried out by staff with relevant expertise in the evaluation committee.
is a kitchen an awali. That is the reason to stay to an awali say on here, maybe I'll go for it. Now we better can awali, that is executing an awali. So not only the contract has to be finalized with the awali, but in a procurement environment which is becoming more and more transparent. So uh, in this respect, the PPA, PPA in this case is Public Procurement Act and regulations, provides strict guidelines concerning the information that can and cannot be made available to unsuccessful bidders. The Act provides for uh, guidelines, guidelines on uh, what kind of information can be given to the unsuccessful uh, bidders and the information that cannot be given to them. The guidelines are ordered. So, when handling the uh, the execution of the award, transparency must always be there. It's not just a matter of you dealing with uh, the successful bidder. I mean, it's actually so controversial. Some people say they don't say that for that. It doesn't have to go that way. There must be transparency. So if it's not that I've been successful, they need to be communicated with you. But there are always guidelines as provided uh, for by the PPA, Public Programming Act. Okay. 
business must always be there. So, having said this, let me do my thing here. Let me share this thing with you. So, Ababa, you're going to put it. This is a very nice one. Therefore, this one I'll share. But when you meet it next time to get back to press on number three, to find it. This is the best number two. Turn on number one. So, in case. In a mess on a way, of course, if those are not sharing the book, they will see. But uh, when it comes to the real discussion, then we will start uh, on a different note. Hope you understand that. Mm